What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Welcome to today's crazy adventure. It is Friday, July 2nd, and I am just finishing up work, I'm about to head to the gym, and then we're catching flights, not feelings, and heading to Coney Island, New York. Okay, more specifically, we're flying to JFK Airport, and we are going to the Nathan's Famous 2021 Hot Dog Eating Contest. Now this is going to be a vlog style video, it's going to be a little bit different, but a lot of fun. Let's do it. Yep, it's going to be a late one. We get into New York at like 7 in the morning. So yes, our plane left Vegas at about 11.15, we were a little behind, but then we got to New York at like 7.30 in the morning and there is a three hour time difference. So the craziness here is obviously, I'm a little bit of a big dude with attitude, and I cannot sleep very well on airplanes. In fact, my whole entire head was above the headrest. So that was a fun night for me. But then we get to New York, and it's 110 in Vegas, and it's raining and like freezing in New York. So that was complete and total culture shock. But the day before the contest, I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to drink some Diet Coke, some water, and some coffee. But we did some of the touristy thing with the other eaters. We went and saw Grand Central Station, walked around, let all the significant others get some food, and just vicariously live through them. As you see, there's Grand Central Station. So this year was different for everyone. Now I've never been to the Coney Island hot dog eating contest, uh, but it used to be at Surf and Stillwell. Now it was at the Brooklyn Cyclones Mama Maids Park. And it was really cool. I thought the event was awesome. We got to use the locker room. They had Gatorades and water behind the scenes. And then we could walk out and you know see the awesome field and where we're gonna be at. And yeah, the sponsors were Nathan's, of course. Then we had DraftKings again and Bounty Paper Towels, which may be the best sponsor for a competitive eating event ever. So it's always fun catching up with the competitive eating fam, but someone that I've been so excited to meet for years and years and years, I finally got to meet today, and that is my competitive eating coach, Wayne Algenio. Check out his channel. All right, guys, we got Heavy D, former Vet Kid Nation, and yeah. It's the first time we're meeting, so it is first awesome. Legendary. <laughs> no better stage to meet Wayne. Actually, yeah. I'm humble. Although, I'm hoping for the best for you, but you know I want you to kill it. You gotta kill we it. We got goals for today. We got goals. We got goals. I'm rooting for you and Derek. So Joey ate 76 hot dogs, followed by Jeff Esper with 50, Nick Weary at 44, and your favorite former Fat Kids friend, Darren Yeats at 43. I felt really good, just at the very end I needed to tweak the strategy, so let's go to the after party. What's up Fat Kid Nation? We're just leaving Coney, going to the after party. I ate 25 and a half hot dogs, good enough for a terrible place. I hope I did y'all proud. Fun time. Maybe Aaron Rodgers will come back and we'll actually win a Super Bowl. I don't know. But I did my part as a Packer fan. So after the event, we immediately went to the after party, which was at this bar located on the pier of Coney Island. It was really awesome. But let me tell you, you think I'm sweaty on a normal day? Try shoving 26 hot dogs, 80 degree heat with 70% uh, percent humidity, and you're gonna find one sweaty former fat kid. 
What an exciting adventure. I got to ride the subway for the first time. And let me tell you, that was an experience because there was like 12 eaters and their families all on the subway. And a woman literally got off our car and went to the other one. But later that night, we went to the after party and I got goblets of beer, which was awesome, as well as got to hang out with one of my close friends from Seattle, Dwight, who was in town, and capped off my night with a delicious brisket sandwich that had horsey sauce, which is horseradish and mayonnaise, some arugula, fantastic. So after about four hours of sleep, it was time to hit the streets again looking for donuts. I didn't really go nuts because all there was open was Dunkin and I'm not flying four hours to get terrible trash donuts. So we went and got some authentic hot fresh New York pizza, which people said this was a solid joint. And they always tell me that, you know, the water in New York is what makes the pizza and bagels better. And to be honest, it was delicious pizza. It was hot and fresh, but there was nothing really that I was like, oh my God, I couldn't have found this in Vegas. So be on the lookout for my best pizza in Vegas series I'm gonna be doing Doing. but side note the water in New York crazy expensive I pay 89 cents here for gallons and in New York for not even a gallon it was over four dollars hit that Venmo up to support your favorite former fat kid in his quest for hydration but got a couple of bagels at the airport because the JFK airport is lacking in food selections and uh, yeah it was a good bagel I'm not gonna lie it was very like moist it was not this dry dense brick and normally at airports I always find their foods are the worst of the worst but this was actually pretty tasty really enjoyed the breakfast sandwich and then we caught our plane back home which was another long flight and back to work the next day so we'll see you in the outro where we wrap this baby up What a crazy time. I think I went to bed at about 4 a.m. I woke up at 7.30 and, you know, like I said, New York pizza, it was good. I can't believe that two slices and a Coke was like 275. Like that is former fat kid approved. The bagel, eh, it was okay. It was at an airport. I tried to go to like four donut shops, okay? Yeah, none of them were still open and I wanted to do a food challenge, but I gotta tell you, spending time with my competitive eating fam was more important than a food challenge. But check out what Bounty gave us as one of our sponsors. We got these dope robes and slippers, like Jane peed in the house the other day, and let me tell you, they are the quicker picker upper. So, thank you for checking out this crazy video. Congrats to Joey again on a new world record. What an awesome time being on the stage like i was doing good i was at 16 in like four and a half minutes and then they talked about joey breaking kobayashi's record of like 50 and five and i'm like nice hat huh so coming your way we're gonna try to get back on schedule currently i'm dieting to drop some of the new york weight off because you're training for a hot dog eating competition you eat a lot of hot dogs and so with that being said the next video I'm not sure what it's going to be. It might be Monday if I get editing done. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Check the community tab for all updates on videos. But I got to tell you, strawberry shortcake coming your way. Stay sick, stay thick, and until the next adventure, like, share, and subscribe. Peace!